Hey everybody, how are you doing? I hope all is well. Welcome to a new episode of Snake Oil. And for this Snake Oil video, I need to wear headphones. So I'm advising you all to also get your headphones out and plug them into your, well, not into your phone, but get them out, put them on and listen to this video through headphones. Thanks. And all this headphone stuff is because today we are reviewing the NX Virtual Mix Room Over Headphones by Waves. So where this plugin comes in is, well, it, it actually has two versions of it. Uh, the first version is for stereo mixing and the second version is for uh, 360 audio, 7.1, 5.1, 5.0 stuff just like this. But that's not what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to focus on stereo mixing. What they do is they are recreating an, a studio acoustics. So, so the room acoustics of, of a great studio. So that's what they say. Want to create great mixes but don't have an acoustically perfect room. Need to mix on the road. This plugin creates the acoustics of a high-end studio inside your headphones. So you can make great mixing decisions anytime, anywhere. It's really important to do this on headphones because what they are doing and what they are using are binaural uh, type of uh, techniques. Is it called? Yeah, it's called binaural. I do have up front already a few reasons why this couldn't work, but let's first look into the plugin and then I will explain why this isn't going to work. All right, so this is actually pretty cool. Um, you can simply connect the webcam or use the webcam of your own software to do head tracking. So as you can see on my screen right now, it knows where my head is and how my head is moving. That's actually a pretty neat piece of software and actually something you need when doing a three-dimensional audio. You always need to know how the head uh, is rotating. Waves also sells a separated Bluetooth tracker which you can click uh, on top of your headphones for even more accurate tracking. That's not something that I'm going to use right now because I simply don't have that tracker. And yeah, let's, let's start with running some audio through it. Okay, okay, this is... Cool. All right. This is really cool. This is, this is really, this is really, really cool. And that head tracking really works, really works well. It really sounds like, like the sounds in front of me and that, that I, I need to move my head in order to, you know, uh, listen to the sound better. What is a bit of a problem is the uh, head modeling thing. And that was also the point that I wanted to make at the beginning of the video, why this isn't going to work. And I'm really happy to see that they have included a head modeling feature in the plugin because that's what you really need when you really want to make three dimensional audio. What you actually need is an HRTF, HRTF. It stands for a head related transfer function. And that's actually uh, a measurement of your whole head, of your own head, of your own particular head, which measures how the audio should be processed in order to, to get the perception of three dimensional audio. Because every head is different and every uh, uh, distance is different and the distances have to match up with the processing. If they don't, you won't get realistic three dimensional audio. And there's of course uh, a simple way to measure uh, this for your own head. I can do this for this plugin and I'm pretty sure that it will work if I, if I measure it like this uh, because it's actually a pretty simple thing to do, but it's not really something that you guys uh, can have because it's it's about my head. So so really interesting stuff this. And and I'm pretty sure as soon as the, these techniques get global, like, like integrated in AirPods and stuff, then uh, we are going to get a really interesting time. But that doesn't say anything about this NX plugin be because it's still a bit of snake oil, uh, honestly. I mean, what Waves is saying is that, that with this plugin, uh, you can simulate a mixed room yeah, you can do this for 5.1 surround if you measure your own head, then you will be able to do uh, some kind of, you know, surround mixing on your headphones. Although I do advise go into a room where you have absolute uh, points where the sound is coming from. But for stereo, uh, I really don't see a reason why you should use this plugin and why this would create a mix room for you that will enable you to uh, deliver better mixes. I even think that it will distract you more from making your own mix. 
it's the technique that's in here is super awesome. But the way it is being marketed is not the right way. This is not what you guys are selling. This is absolutely not what you guys are selling. So this plugin is not snake oil because it actually does something, but the marketing behind it is just not on point. It's it's missing the, the thing that it actually needs to hit. So yeah, that's it for the Waves virtual mix room. It was actually requested by one of my viewers. Uh, I ask viewers in all my videos to comment below which plugins you want me to try out, test out, look at and talk about. Leave a few ones below. I do have a lot of things already on my list, but new ideas are always welcome. So let me know in the comments below and I will add them to my list. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, uh, a bit of behind the scenes look and earlier access to these videos, check out my Patreon campaign over here. If you don't want to see Patreon, maybe check out one of my other videos, which I will link over here. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye bye.